dousing is it paranormal is it phony does it actually work well i'm gonna give it a shot today we'll see what we can do this all started because somebody in my last video that i made said that i need to try uh dousing or uh try using divining rods so these are what they call dousing or divining rods and it's just uh this is just a coat hanger bent at a 90 degree angle uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty skeptical about this, so you're going to see in real time my reactions to it. I have a water line in our barn here. We have a spigot or a yard hydrant right there. And I've started digging it up to figure out the direction because it goes all the way over to the main water line. And when we did our electrical, I hit the water line a few times and so I had to replace about 200 feet. Within that 200 feet, the barn hooked up. So if you saw my last video, you saw that I started digging this up to try and find it because I was assuming, because I found where it turned, that it would be somewhere in here. But like everything else, it wasn't that easy. It wasn't in there. so. Somebody commented, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Like I said, I'm pretty skeptical and I'm gonna give it a few different tries. I'm gonna try it over areas where I know there's water lines or electrical. And then I'm gonna try it over areas, you know, I'm gonna try and find this water line, which I don't know where it's at. And then I'm gonna dig it up. If, if they cross, I'm gonna dig, dig it up and uh, we'll see if it's in there. So first, just an explanation. So supposedly you're supposed to hold them out level like this and you're slowly supposed to walk and as if you walk if they start to cross like this that spot below is where you need to dig and supposedly that's where the water line or the electrical line is at so um like i said i'm going to try over a couple spots that i already know there's water and electrical just to see if it works. I'm gonna try and do this multiple times so that way it's more controlled experiment and it's not like related to wind or, you know, maybe I bent the rods down or something and they moved. So um, this will be interesting. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I don't know if you can see here, but we had a big long trench that went all the way up to the front of the property. And there is an electrical line in here. There's a water line on that side, but there's an electrical line right in the middle of this. So I'm gonna set up the camera. Let's see if this works. Well, it turned. Uh, I'm still skeptical because I don't know if I'm bending these in a certain way if my hands tilted so then it wants to turn let's try it again and i also don't know exactly where the water line's at but and it is kind of windy so i'll probably try this see they're already crossing so they cross there again let's try it again in another spot that's not in the wind Okay, this is a spot where I know exactly where the water line is at because as you can see, I dug it up. It's probably buried by dirt right now, but it is right there. So I'm gonna set the camera up and let's see if, let's see what'll happen. All right, I'm at 90 degrees. I'm gonna slowly walk towards it. All right, see, it twisted right there, right at the spot. I think I might be going crazy. Let's try it this other way. And they crossed right there again. <laughs> uh, I'm not one to believe in this type of stuff. I don't. I don't understand if this is. Uh, I was doing some reading online and there was a lot of people that were saying dousing is kind of like supernatural and but does it just have something to do with like the metal reacting to something i don't know how that would work uh 
Yeah, I don't know, this is interesting. When Ashlyn gets home, I think I'm gonna have her try it too, just to see, but I'm gonna keep trying it. And, I'm, and I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm trying really hard not to think about it at all and just like walk straight. So that way I don't think, I, it's like when you're driving, like as you're driving and you like look to the left, usually your wheel turns to the left as well. And so I'm trying not to do that with it. So let's keep trying it a little bit on things that I know is there. And then let's see if we can't find this water line and dig up wherever the uh, divining rods cross. Man, if this works, this is like, this is wild. Hmm. They keep crossing right at the ditch, right where the water line's at. And there's not even water in it either. That was the other thing. Somebody commented on my YouTube on my last video saying that even if there wasn't water in the pipe, it would still work, which makes it even more confusing. Same spot. Huh. This is weird. All right, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna see. Cause obviously the water line comes somewhere around here. I don't know where, but it obviously does. It doesn't go straight cause I dug straight and that wasn't where it was at. So maybe it, maybe it turns, I don't know. Let's, let's figure it out. So we'll just work our way down. We'll start close and work our way down and see what direction it's starting to go in. All right, I mean, there it is. Let me draw a line in the gravel, try it from the other way, see if it, see if we can get the same spot. Yep, look at that, same exact spot from both ways. And I swear I'm not touching anything. Like I'm, I'm just holding this. All I'm doing is holding this level. I'm not like dipping my hands down. I'm not dipping them up. Cause obviously like if you were to dip your hands up it's gonna go in a direction. Or if you're gonna dip your hands down it might cross a little bit. But I'm not doing that. Let's keep going down the line. I see. I see where it is over there. Let's see if. I'm gonna set you over here. Right there. I mean, it's like perfectly in line with the other one. Let me put some leaves there. Let's try it again from this side. Cross there again. This is wild. <laughs> I can't believe this. And they cross again at the same spot. I'm just baffled that this is working. I thought this video was going to be me proving that it doesn't work. And I even went into this skeptical and I'm starting to believe that maybe this actually works. All right, let's flip you over to where we last saw it. Let's see where it is by the camper here. Right there. I mean, it's like a perfect, like it's obviously turning a little bit. Man, this is one of the most incredible things. I can't remember who commented this on my YouTube, but I'm gonna make sure to give you a shout out at the end of this video. If I dig this up and I find the water line, you are, you are an awesome person.
Here's the real question. The water line's right here, the main water line. And so it connects up somewhere on this main water line. So what I need to find is like, let's see if we can locate it right here so I can dig it up, trench it over to the main water line and hook it all up. All right, it's showing it right there. Okay, let's try this again. I can't even remember, oh, there, that's where it said it was last time. I'm gonna do like a long walk up to this. Cause maybe my hands are dropping after a few seconds or something. All right, you can't make this stuff up. I can't. I was hoping this wouldn't, I mean, I was hoping this would work of course, but I didn't really think it was going to. I'm gonna try coming at it from the other way now. So there's the spot that it's saying it's at. All right, hands are at 90 degrees. No pressure. I just can't believe that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If I dig this up and the water line's there, I'm 100% a believer. Obviously, I have to be at work. All right, let's get to digging. We'll dig right here. Nice big hole. See if this water line's in it. As you can see, I'm getting pretty far down there. I'd be close, so I'm gonna retry these grounding rods and see if I'm close to it or if I need to keep digging one direction than the other, so. pretty far. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to dig quite a bit. Because if I'm going to say it's not real, I better back it up with some pretty big digging. I guess I'm still skeptical. I'm about 32 inches down. I'd be shocked if they put that water line 32 inches deep. It's only like two feet over there. I'm gonna dig this side out a bunch more. See if that's where it's at. I don't wanna be that guy that says it's fake and doesn't work and then hardly tried to find the water line. That wouldn't make for a very good video. You know, there's some people on YouTube who make videos about how long they can put their hand on a Lamborghini and I'm over here making videos about digging up water lines. What a job. Hey, I said I'm not going to be that guy so I'm going to keep digging the other way this time. We'll see what happens. About 34 inches all the way around. I think I'm starting to lose hope. I wanted this to work so bad. I've got my buddy Copper to help me. I'm gonna dig back a little bit more, maybe another foot. And if I can't find it then, 
well, I'm gonna call it and I guess we'll just have to see what happens. <sighs> well, sad news, as you can see, I didn't find it anywhere. I dug three feet down. I went a couple feet on either side of where it said it was gonna be at. You know, and then after I didn't find it, I decided to go back, start at the front. And if for some reason it just didn't wanna, it wasn't crossing where I thought it was crossing anymore. I think maybe, I think maybe it was I turned my head and the wheel followed. And obviously I wanted to find the water line, but I was also kind of hoping that this would actually work. If you go on YouTube, you'll see tons of videos. You can Google it. There's tons of videos of people saying it works and there isn't really any scientific evidence for it. Um, so I figured I'd come out here and give it a shot on my own. And just to let everybody know, When I was doing this, I started out just with the rods. And then what I've seen other people do is I decided to put a straw on it around the rod. So that way I know that it's completely loose and it wasn't my hands pushing it at all. And I'm gonna be honest, once I did that, the readings were all over the place. I, there was no straight line like I thought there was. Well, here's the verdict. I don't think it works. I, I just, I don't think it works. I think, I think people find where they think the water is a lot of the time. They can point from point A to point Z and they're trying to figure out all the in-between and I think a lot of times for most people it is a straight line between those two and so they use the grounding rods and they find it it is straight between those two so i think for those people of course it works but i don't think it was actually the grounding rods i think it was just whoever installed it did it straight from point a to point z so um for me my water line is definitely not straight it curves it probably does an s curve and that's another day digging leave it up to me to spend a whole afternoon following something like this but <laughs> i tried my best <laughs> some people may say that it still works and gosh i would love if you would come to my house and show me that it works and help me dig up the water line but my verdict is i don't think it works i think your best bet is either have somebody locate it or just redig it and excavate a whole new line which is probably what we're gonna do well, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I tried my best and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next one.